how is everyone doing today and stuff like that how are you how are you i hope you're having a lovely day today and welcome back to another episode of cult of the lamb so in today's episode i have a few plans right one of them is we're gonna wait out sozo's brainwashing and we're gonna see exactly who what's why and uh how sozo's quest goes and who uh, like who gets sick mainly like who gets sick who gets healthy and stuff like that besides that I want to do some exploring around the map because once again, I got a very lovely, helpful comment from Ari and uh, we need to find more snails around the map. So I want to just go walk around, get some stuff, see if there's anything I can interact with with the world uh, and I'll let you know if we find anything. Uh, so we're just we're just doing our basic things in the cult and basically uh, fixing up some things. Uh, there is a grave ready for when Count Derpy dies, which will be... Oh no, the entity has died. It's gonna be one of those days. We have so many old followers right now. A lot of people are gonna die. And I was just talking about how we do have a grave. Um, uh, but now we have no grave left over. So we're gonna need some extra graves and I'm gonna need to fix the wood pile, the stone pile and the wood pile now that also broke. So uh, lots, lots of little bits and pieces to fix up in the coat. Cemetery has been built. We have fixed up the wood and the stone. It is nighttime now, everybody is going to bed, and then in the morning, in theory, uh, the brainwashing should run out. So I'm, I am gonna go out real quickly now. Uh, I'll let you know if you find anything on the way, and we'll probably be back before, uh... We'll probably be back before the, the mind wiping runs out, basically. Oh, look at the crystal on top of the thing! Okay, so we just found a relic. Um... I was looking for snails, but apparently there was a relic behind the lighthouse. Nice. Nice. Okay, so we are definitely still... And there's a stone that we can mine. You know, not as important as the relic, but I'll definitely mine it. Uh, this means that we have 100% missed some stuff. Uh, and I will be trying to go around everything. Going around the edges and stuff like that. And behind things, because apparently they are a little bit sneaky like that. All right, so the mind wipe is almost over. We're getting very close to done. There's no more, no more little bit left, and I'm very worried. So, um, come on. Let's see what happens. Let, let everybody just be healthy. Nobody be sick. Everything be good, right? Right? It's lasting a little longer than I was expecting. Uh, yep. It's getting awkward now. Sure is getting awkward. This mind wipe has just made fun of me, hasn't it? This mind wipe has really just made fun of me and been like, you think it's almost over? You saw the bar go down? Well, what if I just stop with the bar going down, huh? There we go, the mind wipe is over. We've got Goten being sick, so let's send you to bed rest. Uh, is anyone else sick? Is anyone else sick? Lex still has the wibbly eyes. Uh, I don't think that's normal. R right? Maybe after he eats some food, right? Um, Count Derby still has the wibbly eyes? <laughs> um, honestly, I think we, we came off of that quite alright. Like, we only have one sick person. Everybody else seems to be doing fine after the mushroom treatment. Of course, D died, so... You know, we don't know how that would have ended, but everything seems quite seems quite fine, really. Yeah, everything seems quite fine. We're gonna go do a ceremony then, and uh, we're gonna do a ritual that we haven't done before yet. Ritual time then after our ceremony, and we're gonna do the fishing one because we actually have a quest for that right now. And I would like to go fishing, and getting extra fish is always great because I love fish as a food in in Cult of the Lamb, not in the real life. All right. Sure. <laughs> sure. That was kind of cute. That was kind of cute. We got some extra tuna. And in theory, we should be getting extra fish as well. We will complete the quest later because Goten is sick right now. And I don't want to bother him. So let's go to the fishing area. And uh, I will continue exploring after. We are cutting the fishing trip short. I will be going back again, but today's episode is just a little bit of a mess right now, isn't it? Because uh, Count Derpy passed away, 
And I'd rather not have the body laying on the floor here the entire time, because it's going to make people sick. So Count Derpy will be the first one to be added into our new burial, <laughs> basically. And uh, it seems like nobody threw up or anything like that, though there is there is some illness going on. And it might just be, might just be the toilet. I think it was just the toilet. All right, it's all good then. It's all good. This thing looks weird on the ground, right? Yeah, this thing looks quite weird on the ground. It might just be my suspicion, but I think that thing looks weird, and I will maybe figure out if we can do something with that. All right, so we just walked into Sozo's house because I was looking for secrets, and uh, I completely forgot that we had completed the quest and that we would trigger a cutscene. So here's the cutscene, I guess. So, well, it's not really a cutscene, it's just a tech stuff. Uh, Sozo, you did it. You did, uh, didn't you? You tasted the power of the mushrooms. Yes, you are just like Sozo. Sozo knows you are friend. Here, you must take this. A sign of friendship between two lovers and the mensic mushrooms. Keep it safe. You can trust no one. No one! <laughs> Alright, we get another piece. Nice! Um. Oh, and that means we can unlock another cape as well. That's actually great. That is actually great. Um, I'm sorry, Sozo. You say trust no one and I don't really trust you, to be honest with you. You are insane. I wish to give you something else. Something to symbolize your undying aberration for the Mensic Mushrooms. And their limited, limitless potential. Ooh, acquired mushroom sculpture. That actually looks kind of nice. That actually looks kind of nice. All right. And that's going to take a lot of gold, though, which I don't really have. No need to thank Sozo. Build it at your cult, then come back to me. Sozo shall grant you one last gift. Sozo is always fair, always re uh, repays his debts. Not like those liars out there. I don't think you're okay. Oh, there is a secret, though. We got another, we got another little building. Nice. Nice, and that's why we were walking around. That's why we were walking around. And there's a snail statue! <gasps> I just spotted him! Hello, snail statue! I'll give you a shell as well. Uh, that means that we have actually found a snail statue in every area minus our cult. And the fishing bay. Which is a little suspicious. I feel like there probably would be one in the fishing bay then. But that's alright. Maybe I'll find it later. Maybe I won't. We finally returned from our fishing trip and our... Uh, you know other trip about getting to Sozo, doing some extra collection stuff. And uh, I have some things to say. First, let's complete Goten's quest real quickly before Goten gets old and dies, because that seems to be a theme in the cult. They also level up, that's great. There we go. And uh, I have some notes to say. These videos are live recorded on Twitch. It's absolutely hilarious. Uh, as you may have noticed, Count Derpy died at a bit of a weird time where we had to come back. And there was this conversation in chat. I won't fully read it out loud, but I'll uh, show you a bit of my reaction. Sorry for my late reply. I was busy dying. Unfortunately, I cannot avoid the scheduling conflict. And I'm sorry for your inconvenience. Attach a copy of my death certificate. Thanks, Cam. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was absolutely laughing. It was ridiculous. And there's just this entire conversation going on between management and Count about how they died at the wrong time. It was it was great. And if you want to join the chat and want to make such funny jokes, please come to uh, please come to my Twitch channel. It's linked in the description. And of course, you also can create your own follower here. And we all just have a good fun laugh and time. Now, I will be uh, making some food, cleaning up the cult, and we'll be going directly into a level because... Uh, I have some people wanting to join the cult, so we need to get some new, fresh cult members. It's level time, shall we? And let's see what kind of weapons we get this time. We get... Oh, we get my least favorite hammer, uh, weapon. We get the hammer. And I will be trying to get rid as, of this as soon as possible, because the hammer is just not fun for me. It's too slow. I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of super slow weapons. Oh, wait. Did we... No, we do break ground, but there's no loot from it. Okay. Oh, come here, Jelly. Oh, it was too late. Okay, anyway. Uh, let's see what kind of enemies we get. We get these guys, which we just need to walk towards and they explode. 
There we go. And we get a spiky ground guy. Uh, which we got spiked by because my hammer is too slow. But you know, this, this round is going to be a lot of me complaining about this hammer, to be honest with you. The enemy... Ooh, a new enemy! Oh, he looks kind of cool. He looks kind of dangerous. Oh, he has a large health bar. Oh, he has a... Oh, our hammer is so slow. I... Listen, okay? I have two problems with the hammer. One, it's super slow. And two, to clean out this kind of stuff. The dagger, it goes so fast. Because the dagger, you just do... And it's close. It's, it's clean, right? You've cleaned up. And the hammer, you have to wait for the charge. And it's just... It's just annoying. It's just annoying. So we get a summoner and we get the sword guy. This is going to be a rough one. Oh, the summoner shot a fireball, which I didn't see because it was behind. We have arrow guys. Oh god, what was that? Okay, we might actually not make this one, to be honest with you. The levels are getting hard. Oh, I ran into that. And I don't, if we don't make this one, I will blame it on the hammer, though. Oh god. The charge. It's so long. Oh, we're going to get hit. Yeah, never mind. This... This was not a good run. Hammer? The hammer is not for me. Uh, we should have re-rolled. We should have just used the money to re-roll. Because the hammer is just so not for me. That we didn't even make it one way through the level. And we just died. Oh gosh. That means I'm going to need to do some cult stuff now. Because people are going to be upset that we died. Oh, every everybody is actually quite happy. Nobody actually seems to care that I died. Which I don't know if that makes me happy that the cult isn't upset or upset that nobody cared that I died. Um. Oh well, uh, we're gonna- Ooh, the Twitch totem is full. We're gonna collect it and let's see what we get. Thank you, Lightning, for your contribution. And we get a Twitch thing. That means we're gonna unlock a special item. Acquired a bag of mushrooms. That's perfectly in theme with this episode, isn't it? Perfectly in theme with this episode. Alright, so, um... Yeah, we're gonna put up some more gold for Sozo. We're gonna do a ceremony. We're gonna hope we level up and hope that we get the weapon upgrade. Uh, we might also break a stone and then just go back into the level, I guess. All right, ceremony done. Sadly, no level up, but we can do a crown thing and we can get one of these. Uh, we're gonna do afterlife because we haven't done that in a while. And with how many people are dying, you know, we might as well. Respect your uh, your elder traits. All cult members will gain the respect your elder. Followers receive plus five faith for every elder follower in your cult. Good uh, good die young trait. All cult members will uh, gain the trait good die young trait. Gain ten faith as an elder is sacrificed, murdered, or consumed. But lose twenty faith if an elder naturally dies. Listen, I'll say it again. We are the good cult and we sadly, we do not sacrifice. Or at least not until we necessarily have to. So, we're gonna go with respect for now. This does mean that if we have to sacrifice someone at some point to complete quests or anything like that, the entire cult is gonna hate us. But it, it, is what, it is what it is. It is what it is. The cult is happy again. We're gonna make some food and I'm gonna go back into that level and we're gonna pretend the hammer run never happened. So we go into our first level of the day, shall we? And let's see what kind of weapon we get. Super excited to see, right? We get an axe this time. Now listen, right? The axe is a little slow, but the axe is doable. It's not as slow as the hammer. Luckily, we didn't get the hammer, though. Because, like, listen, if we got in the hammer, we would have for surely died in these levels. Because these levels are getting quite hard now. All right, let's see. Let's see. We get a... Oh, uh, we get this one. This one is actually quite fun, though. We have to... Uh, lead the projectile back into him, which, uh, his projectile ended. Uh, that missed him somehow, somehow, that missed him. Okay, please shoot another one. Uh, come on, come on. You can be hit by that. Like, we can't actually hit him, he's got, he's got the little cross, so we need to lead the projectile into, ah. Uh... Okay. Okay, we're doing it again. How did that not hit him? Do we need to hit him in the eye? Do we need to hit him in the face? I thought I understood him, but I think I might not. Yeah, we can't... Do we need to just heavy attack? Uh, that was not far enough. Last time I hit him in the face with his own projectile and it worked. That's not far enough. No, the heavy attack doesn't work either. So we just dodged through... How am I... How are we... How are we... Where... Wiki time! Ladies and gentlemen, it's wiki time. Because I am now... 
utterly confused. I will try it one more time, because I swear, last time... Do we need to hit the projectile? We need to... Oh, we need to hit the projectile. Oh, okay. Never mind. Wait. I didn't wiki it yet. I was just... Okay. Okay. Okay, we can hit it quite early. Okay, okay. I don't think I hit the projectile last time, though. No, we had a dagger. So we must have done it by accident really fast because I was just swinging around the dagger. Because the axe, you don't just swing around, right? Because it's slow. It's like the hammer, but it's better. So you don't just swing it around. But but the, the dagger, you just go... Right? Right. Otherwise, if I hadn't thought of that, it would be wiki time because I don't want to be stuck in, an, in a... In a level for, uh, for which I thought I understood, right? But I, I did it by complete accident. I did it by complete accident. Though them bouncing the thing back a few times, that's gonna be rough. That's gonna be rough. Alright. There we go. Alright, alright, alright. Shoot these back at it. I do really like these enemies where we can shoot the things back at them. We also only have to hit them once and they instantly explode, so they're not really that big of a problem. Then this side is complete. We once again went the wrong direction and we didn't get a card or anything like that. Which, that's the most sad thing, when you don't get a card. Okay, so we explode these for a moment. Just to get rid of them, right? Ooh, and the explosion actually hit the enemy. Alright. Uh, okay. Are we sh Wait, are we shooting things back at him? I think we might be shooting things back in an enemy, but I wasn't sure. Uh, could you stop summoning? Could you stop summoning things, please? It's slightly annoying. And with slightly, I mean massively annoying. And definitely when you're summoning arrow guys, which... ...are not my preferred fighting enemy. I don't know if we're just doing extra bad today, or, or if we were doing extra good last time, or if the enemies have really just gotten that much harder. Because we've gotten so many ranged enemies right now. And uh, quite a few new ones, actually, which I uh, clearly did not understand at first. Yeah, it's gonna get rough. I feel like these underwater levels, they're not really underwater, but they feel underwater, are gonna get really hard. Alright, we get one of the charging guys again. Which I do think I'm mostly... Oh, these move and they shoot. Okay, wait. And they shoot so much. Okay. The movie shooting guys, not a fan. Anything that moves and shoots, not a fan. Not a fan. Okay. This is not going well. This is not going well. But we do at least get a curse right here. Uh, turn random enemies into critters. You know what? Great. And it doesn't break. It's not a glass curse. So it will actually last. Alright, so we do find the end of the level here. But I am going to go back because... I do think there is probably... Could we could we go? Yeah, thank you. There is probably a some sort of card that we can gain on this floor. If there's no card we can gain on this floor, I will actually be really, really sad. It's no card. We'd get no cards. Uh, but we do get another curse. 50% uh, chance to heal a heart. 50% chance to gain a, a spirit heart. Fragile. I think if we pick it up, we actually fully lose our other curse. Uh, we also actually do need to destroy these, even though uh, we get some uh, grim stuff out of it. So we chose the cotton path because there is actually a follower in the cotton path. And we really need some followers because I actually have a little bit of a list of people who want to join the cult, which hasn't happened yet. And I'm very excited about that. I'm very excited about that. So today we're going to try to get a bunch of followers. I might even buy a follower from the spider, really. There we go. There wasn't a lot left. And we go on. Uh, we go we're going into a level, though, where I actually don't know what the skull means. I think it's if we kill enemies, we get money. Uh, double the gold enemies drop poison. Oh. Well, that's probably not going to go well for us. And seeing as we already only have two hearts. I, uh, listen... I don't know how this level real realistically is going to go. We might die again, and I might just going to do a rerun to get followers there. Because, um... Well... Oh, there's the poison. Okay, so they only drop poison on death. It's not a poison on every hit. Like uh, some other enemies. Which we can deal with. I think we can deal with that. And seeing as poison does have quite a little bit of a timer before we do get poisoned, it might be fine. We might be fine. Finally a card, though. 
Finally a card. Uh, when hit down to half HP, gain a soul heart. We gain a soul heart. We don't really want to do to get hit to half HP because it's not very useful in a way. Like, it will only do do things once, right? And that's kind of a problem. We can't make an offering for an extra card because we don't have enough money. Luckily, we should be getting some money in this level. Ooh, it's a new character. Oh, uh, want a closer look at the uh, finest antiques in, uh, in the lands of the Old Faith, lamb? That's right. As long as me ship uh, a floating pil pilmbos opens for business. If the uh, if this wets ye whis whistle, so I'm very I can't I can't read this text. I'm very sorry for anyone listening. This this text makes my dyslexia go woo. <laughs> Come down to me uh, to me sanctuary. Plenty of fine uh, legally acquired goods. Har har. All right, so we do unlock a new area right here. That's going to be fun to explore as well. Honestly, the game of Knucklebone I wanted to do today, we might actually miss out on. Because there are so many other things I want to explore. Now let's continue. Alright, we get another level of enemies. Which, once again, I think I reflected that. I think I reflected something. Oh god, the bomb. I didn't. I saw the bomb too late. But I was already swinging my axe and I couldn't stop it. I couldn't swap, stop the axe swing. Alright. You take out your knife. I'd rather have you take out your knife than your bomb, to be honest with you. Alright. Wasn't too bad, you know? Wasn't actually too bad, that level. And uh, we go on. We've collected all the grass and stuff like that, because the grass is useful for us. Uh, now, that enemy with that timer above its head, that needs to die. Because if we don't kill him in time, he's gonna start exploding. And everything exploded, and then we couldn't move because this guy spawned and we got hit. I'm blaming it on this guy. On the, on the calamar. It seems you cannot be stopped by disease or hunger. And he sent you back from de uh, death stronger each time. Please know, it was not my idea to cast out the Red Crown. The other bishops, my siblings, the, uh, the blame lies with them. Please, I beg you, spare me, kill Samura, but do not send me to my death. Do not send me to him. Ooh, they are afraid. They are afraid. Like, like this is this is pleading for forgiveness. You will not find my temple. I will be safe there. Yes, I will be safe there. Okay. Um, also, last episode we got a quest, which I accidentally, like, went over. Like, I didn't actually read the text properly. Uh, and I went back into the recording to actually read the text. I have no clue where it is, but I would like to try out the puzzle and figure it out. I have a screenshot saved of it, so I won't I won't be confused and I can always read back on it. Because the quest doesn't actually say the text. Like, the quest doesn't say the text and the hint of the puzzle. So that's a little annoying. It's You know what's also a little annoying? That there is no loot here. I was really hoping for loot. Ah, uh, the real Geo is descending against the cult. I... Geo! <laughs> like, now we're on a time limit in, in this area, which is a real problem. Um... I like that one. So I guess we're going to start hurrying up and we're going to try to uh, do this level as fast as possible. All right, new follower rescue. Come on, German kill. You'll be fine. You'll be good. We do still try to break everything, but I'm not going to be as thorough about it as I was before. Though we do need to do the skeletons because the bones are very important. Let's go uh, vegetable route, even though I think the other route might have been faster. But we don't have any cauliflower seeds yet. So this is actually going to be very useful for us. So we're going into the final level now. And we got to do it quick. We got to get to the boss fight and we got to do it quick. But we also got to make sure that we don't die. Because our health is already quite low. Let's see. There we go. We're going to steal the devotion. Nom 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 nom. And we leave. We leave these. Okay. I hope that the poison does take care of him a lot. Alright. That was, that was good. We get a card. Come on card. Something good. Something good. Increase the spawn of better chests. You know, if we get better chests, we might get more cards. A bit late. Like, luck upgrades are a little late in the last level. But, you know, we might still get something good out of it. And this level is going to be... This level This level is... Uh, oh, oh, gosh. This level is chaos. This level is kind of chaos. Mainly because of that enemy in the back that is... Uh, shooting 
Like that one. Uh, and the enemy that has now died, which was also shooting with the timer. Better chest, they say, when we get three coins. Ah, yes. Alright, we get a bunch of these exploding enemies, which we can hit into the other enemies just to get a bunch of damage in already. We missed that one, and I'm not sure how. We also have not gotten an actual weapon upgrade yet, which is a little disappointing. Because uh, the axe is strong, but it's not the strongest weapon, and it's it's only a low-level one, right? Give me that heart. Do not leave that heart behind. Though we do have a lot of, uh, I think it's called favor, right? Right? Like the stuff that we shoot? Oh, that's a trap. Okay. Now, I hope that that one can only go back and forth and not sideways. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, we need to go to the other side. We're gonna set it off again. Oh, I, I mistimed that one really badly. Okay, we get Fireball and we get the Tentacles. Tentacles, great. One of my favorite abilities. It's it's fantastic. It does so much damage. It has so such good range. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. There's a little bit of aim to it, but not too much that it's gonna take a long time. Lightning has died of old age. We now have two dead people in our cult. And that's the boss fight, but we gotta have- we gotta check out if there's a card down here. We gotta check out if there's a card or if there's health. Uh, we do get a weapon upgrade. Uh, we've got Vampiric heal- uh, chance to heal wielding uh, users to life force when uh, slain foes or poison. We're gonna go with healing, hoping the boss is gonna spawn enemies and that we can heal on those. I also completely forgot to use our curse. I completely forgot to use our curse. Oh, it's gonna be one of these guys. Okay. He's probably gonna do a lot of those kind of attacks like this. Because usually the uh, the bosses, if they look like the enemies, they do quite, like, represent what the enemies do. Which is quite nice, because that means you have some sort of idea of what uh, they can do, basically. What, what kind of boss they are. Oh, okay. He was just charging his abilities. Listen, I can do that as well, though. Okay, we are on one heart. That was not far enough. Okay. Okay, I realized that he was charging this time. We don't have... Okay. I don't... I don't like it when he does the circle thing. Sadly, he doesn't summon anything. Because I was kind of counting on that with the dagger that we picked. Otherwise, I would have picked the poison dagger for extra damage. For, like, damage over time, right? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, don't run into the fireball, don't run into the fireball, don't panic, don't panic. We still don't have enough uh, favor to do the attack. He's gonna do the big attack. Alright, got enough favor for, uh, for a big bolt. Almost dead. Ooh, there we go, nice! <laughs> GG. GG. We didn't have a lot of health, but that's a GG. Come join my cult. Come join my cult. Uh, we need to pick a reward. We pick a present because people are going to be upset. All right. Uh, destroy the stuff real quickly. Pick up all the loot and we're leaving. We're leaving immediately. Let's go back to the cult. See our rewards. Heretic defeated. And there are our rewards. Quite a bit of gold. Quite a bit of poop too. I have no clue where we got that. But oh well. 16 minutes, quite a long run, actually. That's not fantastic. And definitely with the amount of death and other things we've had happen in the cult. Um, okay. We gotta, we gotta make sure chaos doesn't happen. And first of all, Weber has become sick. Great. Okay. Geo goes to jail. <laughs> Step one. Geo goes to jail so he can't steal our money. Right? Step two. Re-educate Geo. Right? Like, every single episode, we're re-educating someone. Okay? And this time, it's Geo. Step two, bury, bury the dead. <laughs> bury the dead because they're kind of just laying around and it's not good. <laughs> do, 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 do. Okay, dead has been buried. Step three, clean up the poops, right? Clean up the poops. We might actually level up our uh, broom, which would be great. Let's see. Broom level up. Not from this, at least. Not from this. Uh, okay, Weber is... Uh, wait, wait, it's not empty yet. It's not empty. Goten, I get that you have a quest. What is your quest? 
Hey, leader, I know uh, that you, uh, you're you married to Weber already. Wait, I'm married? Wait, since when am I married? I didn't do that yet. <laughs> I mean, I can get married to Weber, but I, I am in love with you too. Would you even consider, I mean, would it be possible? Will you marry me too? Yeah, sure, let's have a wedding. Let's have a wedding, shall we? Uh, Weber is sick. You need to go to bed rest, but I'm also giving you a gift. And I don't know if Weber can live forever, right? Um, I don't know if Weber can live forever or if Weber eventually dies, but I, I, I don't know. I'm not going to look up spoilers, so we're going to make Weber live longer because it's a special follower and I, I like to keep him, basically. So we're going to give Weber the amulet. And then we're going to tell Weber to uh, hide necklace and remove. Oh, we can actually remove items from people. I didn't know that. I think that might be new, actually. Um, we can send to bed rest, right? Yeah, we can send to bed rest. Uh, or we can we can do we can do the flower thing. We can't afford people being sick right now because we don't really have enough followers to uh, keep the cult up. As you can see, the cult is getting very empty with our four followers sleeping here. Uh, so that means it's going to be time to add some people. And uh, we'll be doing that with Twitch chat first. So Shadow Wish will be joining our cult. The follower raffle is being a little wonky again. So we had to manually make the follower, but that is all right. So welcome Shadow Wish to our cult. There we go. Uh, and I'll be immediately adding a second follower because... Uh, we, uh, we have two little followers, and, um, I would like some more, so we're gonna add someone from the YouTube comment section who has been, honestly, leaving absolutely lovely comments. I've put them multiple times on screen. Here is it once again. We're gonna be re-adding Ari to the cult, and, uh, this time they want to be a white deer, so we're gonna pick that out right now. One small problem, there is two choices of white uh, of deer. There is this deer, and there's that deer. Um, I'm going to go with this one, basically, uh, just because if it's wrong. Well, I'm sure eventually Ari will die and come back. And uh, for the thing, we'll randomize it. We get the stripies. Welcome back, Ari, to the cult. We've got germaphobe and gullible. Welcome back. There we go. There we go. Somebody is going to tell me that this is not like a female deer and that it's actually another animal. And I'm going to be like, oh, well, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Uh, all right. So the cult is still quite upset. I'm going to wait until they wake up. We're going to do a ceremony. Um, and then I want to go check out uh, the new area we unlocked. Maybe we'll, up maybe we'll level up, actually. Yeah, let's level up. All right. So we're going to unlock this, basically, because it's going to unlock a new path for us. A place for followers who are not worshipping and uh, praying throughout the day can store devotion. More devotion is going to mean more levels. Not necessarily that our devotion thing isn't always full. Always full. Uh, like right now, it's once again full. Uh, but you know, it's fine. It's fine that it's always full. It's fine. Okay, so we're not just going to do a ceremony, actually. We're also going to do a wedding. <laughs> Uh, why? Because Goten asked if Goten could marry me. Which is a little weird, because Goten is based off my IRL cat that I have. But, uh, whatever. Whatever, it could be weirder. And we need the faith, we need the devotion, everybody's upset. So why not have a wedding, right? I think the wedding is gonna cost us a bunch of flowers. Oh, it's bones, actually. Ah, yes, because we all know a wedding, a wedding costs mainly bones. So let's see this ritual. Uh, we're gonna marry Goten. And apparently Goten said we were already married, which I'm pretty sure we're not, but whatever. Whatever. Ooh, we unlock a new card. Congratulations on your marriage. Everyone enjoyed the wedding and you have raised the faith in your cult. You can marry a uh, as many followers as you like. It's your cult after all. However, your spouses will become increasingly jealous every time you remarry. Oh. Oh. All right. We pick up this card. Uh, and we get a, we get lovers too. Nice. Alright, tarot card unlocked. Wedding wedding done. Quest complete. There we go. Alright, faith restored. Everybody seems... Everybody's happy. The cult is good again. That means that now... Uh, we can actually head out. Oh, the stone thing is broken again. 
Okay, instead of heading out, I um, I guess I will be doing some decoration in the cult, and then we'll be heading out. The cult has been fixed. We've got our stone mine back. I've also upgraded all the beds. They're still working on that, but um, you know, everybody deserves a good sleeping spot. Even though I know that we don't have enough cult members for them to actually take up the bed. But the plan is to get a few more cult members before the end of the episode, okay? Okay. Let's go into the new area, the Smuggler's Sanctuary. Oh, I didn't mean to walk out. I love the lily pads everywhere. New location discovered. You! Listen, mutton chop. You owe me a ship. What? The bishops are a nasty piece of work. But... They do a good enough job with keeping the uh, waters open and trade f uh, flowing around here. But with you going around killing them, it opens the gates for all sorts of monsters. Beasts to start sinking my stock. Me, Scary God. things, Davy. With uh, gnashing teeth and uh, of furious... Sing <laughs> no clue. Sinks uh, and face that could crumble God. milk. Just like my mother-in-law. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. So funny. So you best be making this right. Each time a bishop dies, a nasty beast called a witness takes its place. Luckily for you, uh, Pilbo knows uh, folks will pay a plenty penny for a pretty penny for eyes of the witness. Yeah, get me the eyes. I I'll buy you a new boat, and uh, we'll call it square. All you need to do uh, is return to the place where you've killed the bishop, defeat a, a ferocious beast that has emerged. And bring me their eyes. Simple enough. We actually have a few of these. We actually have two. So let's let's give him one. About, me, About time. Hey, I was... Listen. Shut up. No, I will not take this. I will not take this slander of about time when I've been standing here the entire time. <laughs> Look at this squishy thing. They say these creatures have seen all there, uh, there is to see. And stood in silent judgment for millennia. Just like my mother-in-law. <laughs> Here, take this. Found it on me travels. Means uh, means nothing to me. But the crown bearer might uh, have some use for it. There's more to go. Oh, it's another one of the pieces. Nice. Nice. That means we've completed one piece today. And now we're working on second. All right. Uh, we have no more eye of a witness, actually. That was it. So anything... There is another one of those symbols on the floor here. Uh, that's the second one we found so far. And it doesn't look like we can walk out here. But we can't do anything. I'm assuming we need to return at night time. And that something will happen here. And that the sea guy may return. Uh, but I'll figure it out next episode. I'll note it down that we'll be doing that. And that will be a next episode figure out. Um, but I want to try that. Uh, there doesn't seem to be... Oh, snail! I have another snail. All right. Crab. Acquired follower form. We got a crab. Ooh. Nice. Is there anything behind here? It looks like there could be anything behind here, but I don't think there is. All right, then. For now, I think we collected most of the things here. And uh, we did his main... We did, a, we did a bunch of his quests, but we didn't collect all the eyes of the witness yet. So let's return to the cult. Um... And I'm going to think about what I want to do next. Because we've been recording for quite a while. But I actually want to do a rerun level. Because I want to just gain some loot. And I really want to make a janitor station. Which we actually can do already. We, we can do that already. Let's just, let's just get that over with. Uh, the janitor station can be right next to the toilet. If anyone has a quest right now that lets sick followers join, that would actually be fantastic. But sadly, no one has popped up with that quest today. So, uh, oh, though Nixie has a quest, maybe. Let's hope, right? Let's hope. Glorious leader lets us preach. Um, uh, your word far and wide. Ari has said uh, you are willing to go on a mission. Let them, uh, let them go. Send Ari on a mission? Sure, if Ari wants to go on a mission, Ari can go on a mission, right? Listen, we're going to send Ari on an easy mission because I don't want Ari to die. Right? Um, 88% chance of survival. That's pretty good. Good luck, Ari. Have a good day. Um, and we complete Nixie's quest. Well, you did it. Truly, you are without a flaw. Thank you. Thank you. And level up. 
There we go. I don't want to send the followers necessarily on these quests because I don't want them to die. But if they... Ooh, broom upgrade! Oh, that looks like a mouth now. Another broom upgrade. Double broom upgrade. Holy moly. All right, I'm going to do a rerun level and um, I'll see you at the boss fight or if there's anything new. But otherwise, we'll, we'll, we will be ending the episode right after that. All right, so uh, we did our rerun. It didn't go quite as planned, but uh, don't don't worry. We won't talk about it. Uh, we're going to free the re G real Geo here by re-educating him and then letting him go. There we go. Then we release him from his prison. Release. There you go. Geo has been re-educated. That's all good. Uh, then. Oh, um. Ari is actually already back. Welcome back, Ari. Leader, I have retur uh, returned. Yep. With meat and meat. Thank you very much. Good job. Ari is tired. Please go to bed. Um, then. We are going uh, to add another follower, uh, in theory two probably, uh, but we will see in a small moment. All right, we have Slayer of the Bad rejoining once again as a character that I made because uh, the thing is uh, being a bit wonky. So, oh well, oh well, basically. Go worship or work or do whatever, really. And uh, then we're going to add one more follower, probably. And the second follower will be Count Derpy 2. They are returning. Welcome to the cult. Ah. There we go. Um, you can go... Just just do whatever, basically. Uh, Chi Chi also has a quest, so I guess we'll do that. And then we'll be ending uh, this, the, the episode there. Uh, later, please uh, don't judge me, but I've always wanted to eat a meal of poop. Um, I will judge you, but we'll do that next episode. <laughs> Anyway, I'm waving. You can't see that. Good night. Sleep tight. Have a lovely day, evening night. Thank you for watching this episode of Cult of the Lamb. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. If you didn't enjoy this episode, leave a dislike. Leave a comment if you want to join the cult as well. And uh, I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.